yellow turbans are upon us! You have to save our village! Know your place! We are the Imperial Army! We have no time to waste with worthless plans! everything to us. Come, men. We must rescue the villagers. Cut down the yellow turbans. Yes, my lord. We will keep the people safe. That's right, brother. We'll rip those yellow turbans to pieces. Somebody help us! Please! I'm on the way forward! You want my head? Then come and take it if you dare! Virtue shall fail. Our village! It'll be burnt to the ground! Help! Just one to go! Let's finish them off! Want my head? Then come and take it if you dare. Keep it up, brother. Ha. I'm gonna have to let loose on these guys. Someone as scrawny as you. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. The job's just about done here, but I'm just getting warmed up. During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the Imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Jiao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the Imperial Court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered was a man who fought on behalf of the people. His name was Liu Bei, and he was a descendant of Han royalty. Though we may have been born separately, we will die together as one. With this oath taken in the Peach Garden with his sworn brothers, Liu Bei joined the battle. For within his heart, there was no greater cause than to ease the people's suffering. <laughs>